Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how to modify an existing STL file in Fusion 360. I just downloaded a very cool Bowden extruder from Thingiverse, it's called the 3 Dator. And uh, I have a Bowden connector which is too large for this uh, original design, so I need to modify this extruder design a little bit. Let's do that. So. First, you have to save the file, as always. Let's call it 3Data uh, Remix. Save. Next, we will insert the STL file I just downloaded from Thingiverse. So, click Insert, Insert Mesh, and find the file. Here is my STL file, click open. Now here you have to select the unit. STL files do not uh, store uh, any units, so it's not defined how large the model will be in the physical world. Therefore we have to guess here what was the unit when they designed this. And we just guess millimeters, but later on we will verify if this is true or not. Click OK. Now, here we have the mesh model, and uh, in Fusion 360 we like to edit a BREP model, so we have to convert this to a BREP. But if you select this mesh body and right click, from the menu you cannot find the convert to BREP, and it's because the history capture is on so we have to switch this off so right click the project in the browser and on the very bottom there is do not capture design history click that click continue and now we don't have any history capture anymore Go to the browser, right click the mesh body, and you will find this mesh to be wrap now here. Click OK. And it will create a new body. But here it says that in the original STL file there are too many faces. So if we convert it as it is, uh, we may run into performance issues. So it's a good idea to reduce the number of uh, faces first. So let's cancel this. All right. So let's go to Mesh menu. Select the body from the browser. Then click Modify. And in the Modify, select Reduce. It's the second in the list. Now we have the Reduce dialog here. The reduce type is adaptive, which is good because adaptive is trying to reduce less where there are more details, like uh, here, and uh, reduce more where we have flat surfaces. The density you can change, so if I click the preview, it will show how many uh, faces we will have. So it's good to have a look at the more dense areas. If I change the density, decrease this, we will lose detail, but we will have less faces. If I increase the density, we will have more faces and more details. The original was 0 0.25, so I will keep that and click OK. All right, now we have less faces in our model. We right click again on the browser and uh, select mesh to be wrap click OK now it goes to without any warning and we have this body 1 which is a boundary representation it's not a mesh anymore at this point we can switch on the history capture so right click the project capture design history Okay, so now we are capturing the history and we can come back to this anytime. 
All right, so let's verify if this is the right size. So the holes on this model should be three millimeters. So what I will do, I align to the top view, zoom in and use the measure tool from the inspect menu. Click measure and select one of these uh, points here and another one on the other side. All right, so it says 2.997 millimeters, which is about correct. So we don't need to modify the dimensions of this model. It has the right size. Okay, next. I will show you what I want to modify. So I will use the orbit tool. And this is the hole where I should put my board and connector. So the filament will come from this side, goes towards this side and gets out here. So I will connect my board and here. And I need to make this hole bigger. And there's also a bump so you see that this is extended a bit i need to remove that bump because later on i will extend this this hole here is not deep enough for me so i want to extend this a little bit with a pipe you will see later on so first what i will do is just to cut off this bump for that i will use a offset plane you can do it in many different ways, but I, this is how I will do it now. So I will create an offset plane. I select any of these surfaces here. And uh, I leave the distance to zero. So this plane will be on this surface. I click OK. All right. Now I will select the body. Not not the mesh body, but the body. And click modify, split body. All right, body is already selected. So I need to select the splitting tool. I will click on the plane. It shows that where it will cut. Click OK. Right now we have body 2 as well and if I hide body 2 then you see that what part we are cutting off. Okay this is good so I will also hide the construction. Okay let's come to the front view and zoom in. I will create a sketch. So create new sketch and we will align it to this surface. Click OK. And now we are editing the sketch. So this is the hole where the filament comes out. I want to align everything to this hole. So I zoom in a little bit more. OK, and I will put a circle. I don't know where the center is, so I'm just guessing now. And we can see that the hole is two millimeters. So I will type two millimeters, click OK. And you see it's not completely aligned, so we will zoom in a bit more. Hit M for move. Tap the circle. And use this rectangle here, grab it. And you can grab it in any direction. So I will align it on top of the hole. Now it covers everything fine. Click OK. Almost. So I, I will do a little bit more movement maybe. So again, same thing. And move a little bit. It's very tiny movement, probably doesn't matter. But okay. Yeah. Now we have the circle for the hole. We can hide the bodies. All 
All right, and we will edit the sketch. So I will need a nine millimeter hole. So I will click the circle. I will use the same center point and make this nine millimeters. Okay. And I want a two millimeters wall around this. So I will use this offset tool, click this circle, type two millimeters. Okay, I zoom out a little bit so you can see. All right, so we have this large circle, a smaller one, and this one is for the filament uh, hole. We can finish the sketch. Okay, zoom out. And we can put back the body. All right, so I will move a little bit around. Okay, as you can see, this hole will hang out from this box. So we will need to put a little platform below it. So that's what I will do first. I will extrude. So hit E and I will select everything that hangs out. So this part and this part. And I will start from the bottom here from this surface. So I will select start from object and select this bottom surface here. And I will go downwards two millimeters. So minus two here. And it will be a join. Okay, so now we will have the platform underneath. I will cut now the hole. So I will put back the sketch. And I will do another extrusion. Select the inner part. This this so everything that is inside and we will start this time from this plane here and we will go down until the bottom so for the extent select two object and again select this bottom all right and we will do a cut so the start is this top surface, the extent is the bottom, and we will cut. Click OK. Alright, so now we have the hole. As we like it, it's the same depth, but it's bigger. Now I will build back the wall here, until this platform. So again, extrude. We will select the wall part of it. We will start from the top plane. So from object, select the top and then extend to object, select the bottom and it will be a join. Click OK. All right, so now if we look around. We have this bigger hole, but as I mentioned before, it's not deep enough for me. So I will do a little pipe using the wall part of the circle. So another extrusion. I will select this and the outer part as well. And I want this time five millimeters outwards it's a join click OK all right so now we have the bigger hole and my Bowden connector will fit to this hole and it's perfectly aligned with the filament hole and the next thing that I would do is to print this and uh, 
measure everything so if it fits or not if it doesn't fit if this hole is too big or too small too large or too small then I can modify the sketch and it will adapt the model accordingly so you can also make a little bit of editing the model if you don't like for example you can add fillets and stuff like that but I won't do that you get the idea so let's save our work click save you can give some version descriptor I just leave it as it is click OK and then we could save our body as an STL file so I will rename this uh, extruder remix right click save as STL then click OK and then just select the folder where you want to save it and click save and now you have a new STL file with the modifications that you just did I hope you enjoyed it and it will help out with your projects thanks for watching and see you next time bye